from the colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army, and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe.
Jay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. Should bring us up to your man tomorrow. Welcome off, Captain Coleman. Follow me. Safe passage ahead. If you don't mind me asking, what happened at 4 30 that night? We're planning a brutal attack, I'm afraid. I'm calm as I told Bob Bobby's for days. Down for Actually, he acted pretty hard. When we sent for Bobby, he turned him off a far more generous than anticipated. He kept our arms, and then he walked Only for walking to a trap. No, I wouldn't. Coleman, sir, we must hurry. You should bring us up to your man tomorrow. Welcome off, Captain Coleman. Follow me. Safe passage ahead. If you don't mind me asking, what happened at 4 30 that night? We're planning a brutal attack, I'm afraid. I'm calm as I told Bobby's for days. Down for Actually, he acted pretty hard. When we sent for Polly, he turned off a far more generous than anticipated. He kept our arms, and more importantly, our cuts, only to walk into a trap, and without expecting first to fitness. Would you? No. I would have continued to prove your loyalty to 10 plus master Coleman. Risking your life for me. Not out of the woods yet, Colonel. That's my loyalty, well, I do owe you. No time. You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We've been working together for a year now. During that time, we've rendered many great services. You don't take mention back towards me as paid. You say, perhaps. You live? Attack! Take cover!
Better off, we lost him. He's lost. You know this man. That's called Ike Earl. He's one of Kiwi's life. An assassin. I lost. So they know. And now the assassin. I'll work with Kevlar's. I know from Colonel. The assassin's working off of me next. We'll both target's high. You know that's right, right? Indeed, Mr. Comic. We have no choice. We survive French cannons, we will survive this. You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Say! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir. I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there.